the sun. Don't you know how to dip sheep yet? You ought to. I've been doing it long enough. Well, I'll do it properly then. You're like tits on a bull. Yeah? Yeah, you're bloody useless. Thanks, Dad. You'll have their back legs in your gumboots next. Why don't you go and help Jimmy, Dad? Well, he's bloody near as useless as you are. You missed one. Oh, Jesus. I hate to think how you two are going to cope after I'm gone. A couple of bloody sheavers. There won't be a hell of a lot you can do about it, eh? Oh, I don't know. You could always leave the place to the rugby union. All right, Dad, you do that. Maybe they'll come and help you dip the bloody sheep as well. Now what have I done? Jimmy, I've changed my mind. We're going. Hey? The game, we're going. Shit! Can you get onto those blokes at the club and get us a couple of tickets? Right. What about the old man? Back at the old man. I've had him up to here. Been giving you a hard time, eh? Bloody rugby union bullshit. He's yeah, I know, I know. He only does it to get me worked up. Well, he succeeded this time. He can bloody well take care of himself for a change. Of course he can. He'll yeah. be okay. Only be a couple of days, eh? Well, it'll only be for a couple of days. Eh? Hey? The game. What game? The Shield match. Jimmy and me, we're going to it, and don't you try and stop us. I'm not trying to stop you. Good. I'm coming with you. Hey? You are? To Wellington. Well, don't you want me to come? Well, yeah, well, of course we do, Dad. It's just that... Well, well, what's the matter, son? Well, for the last ten years, we haven't been able to get you past the front gate. Well, you never invited me to a Shield game before, did you? Are you sure you're up to it? Well, it should be okay. Bit of a shave. <laughs> Why can't he crap inside like the rest of us? Still reckons the eels come up the pipes and into the bowl. <laughs> Dad! We'll miss the bloody ferry! <sighs> God, it's gonna be like this all weekend. Well, come on, then. You're like a couple of daughters. Are we going or aren't we? Look at that milk stand. I thought I told you to fix it. Ah, uh, not me. Jimmy. Jimmy, I thought I told you to fix that milk stand. Well? I did. A couple of years ago. Well, give it a coat of paint, then. Geez, look at that. That's old TK, isn't it? Well, bugger me days. What's he doing out? I thought the only way they'd get him off the place is feet first. G'day, Brian. G'day. Yeah. Uh, yeah, can you give us a cheeseburger with egg? Nah, make it an egg burger with cheese. Oh, yeah, and a large chips. 
Yeah, there, TK. You're looking well. Bit of a breakout for you, eh? We're going to lift the shield from those city smart asses. I want to be there. What are those young buckers up to? No, he's in a hurry, eh? You know you're not supposed to let him see you enjoying yourself. Jesus, come on, Jimmy. Hey, come on. It's one egg burger and cheese and a large. Shit. Through the backs, that's not shield winning rugby. Uh, shield rugby's different guts. Speaking of guts, who do you have to cross to get a drink round here? It wouldn't it be easier if I served it up in a trough? <laughs> hey, what's it, mate? He's a cop. Oh, sorry. Couldn't see his feet. <laughs> hey. Should be enough there to get you silly. Lived there all your life, have you, son? <laughs> Jimmy, where's he going? Overboard with any luck. <laughs> oh, you ready? Drink. Point five. Uh, <laughs> To a great night. Yeah, as long as you don't lump me with the old man again. Wouldn't do that. Yeah, well, I'm off, you fellas. We'll take the late ferry home. What are you? Miss out on all the fun. All right for you bachelors. Listen, could you nip over to our place? Toss the dogs a bit of tuck and we'll see you tomorrow night. Yeah, sure. We're really the old fella. <laughs> Dump him off at the motel. Hey, Jimmy. You old bastard. A couple more jugs, you've got to tuck them up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> see ya. Bye-bye, Brian. Well, come on, you jugs. We're celebrating. It's all out there waiting. <laughs> yeah, see you blokes at the motel. Yeah. Back, <laughs> all muck, eh? 
Comes from down south somewhere, doesn't he? Yeah. Marlborough. How much? Nine fifty. Call it ten bucks. Ten, but what? Bucks, mate. You haven't lived in this country all your life, have you? Neither have you yet. You can always stop at your Auntie Bird's. Oh, do you want me to give her a ring? You bloody dare. Hey, when are you going to hit the town then, eh? <laughs> what am I going to do? Am I going to sit here all night on my own? Is he gonna give it a bill? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Why not? It comes a bit of a relief, really. <laughs> <laughs> Who's first? Uh, he is. He is. We're sort of closing now. Nice here. You reckon? Tucker's nearly as good as home. Where's that? The farm. Big one, is it? Not unless 4,000 acres is big. You? Bullshitter. You from out of town, though? Marlborough. Brought the boys over for the game. Sheila's. 
Both of them. Something wrong with Sheila's? If you're meant to be jokers, there is. Oh, pardon me. What if the old bugger gets himself into trouble? You two are double act. He's as tough as old boots. Gum boots? Topless or bottomless? Hey? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Maybe we should call the cops. I don't give group discounts. Forget them. Enjoy yourself. Oil or talc? A uh, both. Norwegian Bull or Randy Musk? Both. I do extras. Extras. Jimmy. But you'll have to be quick. Look, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to kick you out. Fair enough. You really got a farm. 1,643 acres. 1,450 breeding ewes and a few cattle beasts. Doesn't owe any bugger a cent. Got it sorted out, have you? What time do you knock off? <laughs> but young, aren't you? It's just that I mightn't be able to find my way back. You're a bit of a trick. One out of the box. That thing round your leg. Some of the Benson Cara used to wear things like that. It meant they were, uh... Yeah, well... Tell me about the farm. Ah, uh, nothing much. But it's where I belong, dead or alive. I'm not happy anywhere else. Must be some place. What about you? Oh, they can put me where they like. Uh-huh. My old man threw me out for wearing lipstick when I was 14. I'd better get going. What you might like to meet the boys? Sheila's. to find the old bugger, didn't we? Yes, right. Yeah. Hey, you reckon that, um, that, uh, tall, tall Jackie was a Sheila? No, uh, the other way around. <laughs> hey, who's <coughs> Jimmy? What, what, what are extras, eh? Hey? Oh, uh, extra tea, coffee, milk, yeah. etc. will be charged extra. <laughs> 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 oh, wouldn't have that much trouble if it had hair around, did they? Jim, that is gross. Right. <laughs> well, like a light. You got home all right. Never even heard him snoring.
there, you are, Dad. Dad. Dirty old bugger. Now you just keep your trap shut about what happened last night. What do you think I am? <laughs> They're all right for a change. Now, cities. Oh, you, you wouldn't want to live in one. Oh, I don't know. The sheilas are a change from the sheep. <laughs> He said he'd be okay. He's dead, Jimmy. Arthur, we're going to do something. wish to be buried on my property and uh, in the event of my not being interred on the property Jesus Jimmy he wasn't joking if he's not buried on the farm the bloody rugby union gets the lot <sighs> Arthur we'd better get the boys up to give us a hand oh, Jimmy we can't if anybody finds out he's dead, we'll lose the farm. Eh? Look, if he dies away from home, he's got to be buried in a bloody cemetery. That's the law. Well, you know what we've got to do, don't you? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, Arthur. We can't. Jimmy, listen to me. You want to work for somebody else? Be a farm labourer for the rest of your life? Cut scrub for the county council, hmm? Well, we can't take him home in his undies, can we? Doesn't the undertaker do that kind of thing? Jimmy, don't you ever bloody listen! The law says he can't be buried on the farm unless he actually died there. So, until we get him home, Jimmy, he's got to be alive and kicking! The old bastard! Who's there? You're under arrest. Oh, oh Craig! <laughs> What do you want? Oh, I've got to get back home. What, now? Yeah, they're pulling us all back on duty. That escape prisoners giving us the runaround. Oh, right. Uh, well, see you, Craig. Yeah. 
you doing in there? Nothing. Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, see ya. <laughs> Arthur, what are we going to do? Bird. You in there? It's James Donovan. Beat it. Hey, it's me, your nephew. Honey Bird, for Christ's sake. I want to buy something. What? Uh, what have you got? I'm not allowed to do business on Sundays. It's worth a hundred bucks. Keep your voice down. She said the place was swimming in champagne. Yours was the first invitation we sent. Ah, uh, Donovan Fort. Arnie Bird, I need your help. Not even a Christmas card now. It's your van. What do you want with my van? Oh, just a couple of days. Got to get some gear back home. No. Name your price. Now look, I'm not being vindictive. It's not their fault, I said, when the invite didn't arrive. No. Oh, it's him. It wasn't your mother he was after. No. It was our farm. He worked his guts out to build up that farm. It was still our farm. He made sure he got it. When your poor mother died. Now he wants something, eh? Hmm? <laughs> I'll tell you something about your father. Too many unrequited debts. It's nothing to do with Dad. Look, he sent you round here to get my van. Means he stands to make something on it. God. He's as bent as a brothel bed spring. It didn't send me, Auntie Bird. Dad's dead. wasn't even asked to the funeral. Well, it only happened last night. He woke up dead. Here? Yeah. In Wellington? Yeah. Motel. Arthur's with him now. Art? Hey? No, no one knows. Look, we have to get him back home first. Has to be buried on the bloody farm. I thought you said... It's a dying wish, Auntie Bird. To be buried on the farm. What are you talking about? The law says we can bury him there only if he dies there. The old bugger kicked the bucket over here. So, if we can get him back home on the quiet, we'll be okay. Yeah. But I must say, it's more than he ever deserved. dollars for the van and some furniture. Mm. It's doing an indelicacy to a dead body. Hey? I'll have you inside. And we tell everyone he left this morning. We leave tonight. Arthur picks up the car on the other side and we head for home. Now tomorrow morning on the farm, we can't find him, you see. So we get really worried. 
We ring up the neighbours. Well, they haven't seen him either. So we start searching the farm. And there he is. You're asking me to be an accessory after the fact. No. No, it's too risky. I'm your sister's boy, your own family. I wasn't family when you had your 21st. Old man's dying wish. Hundred dollars? Hundred and fifty? Two hundred. For the van. Furniture's extra. I have to service your room now. Oh, uh, uh, can't it wait uh, till my brother wakes up? You know, you know, we're not fussy. You, you can leave the room. Well, he'll suffocate under that. Yes. Uh, uh, he's, he's a bit crook. Uh, yeah, but he'd be right as rain in a couple of shakes, and you can come back then and do the room. You can do this room, that room, and the bathroom, all of the rooms. Thank you very much. You're doing this deliberately, aren't you? Uh, Hello. It's me, Jimmy. All fixed. One van, one wardrobe. A wardrobe? Yeah, only 400 bucks. 400? Well, I beat it down. The old bat! Well, I'll cancel the check for no, 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 Monday. No, she, she's fast. She drop us right in it. Jimmy, 400? Yeah, plus a set of new tyres and a case of champagne. In case of you, what? Well, you said if we don't get him back to the farm, we're down like Donny boy. Mr. Donovan, we can't wait any longer to service your room. Checkout time is checkout time. Yeah, well, look, can it wait just a little bit longer? See, we had a rather hairy night last night. Well, you've got night. visitors of the opposite sex in here. Huh? All right. One hour, boys. One hour. Yeah, okay. Sorry. It's getting out of hand, Arthur. Fell. You don't say. No, something fell out. Oh, well, he won't need them. Come on. Don't let those buggers see us. Look out. G'day. I thought I might have dropped something around here. Uh, what? Just a necklace for a small neck. <laughs> well, if you find one. Well, where will you be? Around. G'day. Coming to a party. Can to relive the game, are you? Jimmy, we'll miss the bloody ferry. Right, Ben. Okay, come on, okay. Bastard. Yeah. Good one. That's it. Beauty. Got it. Right. Right. Oh, oh Jesus. I'd like to take a chainsaw to the old bugger. Quickly! Find it? Necklace. Trouble? 
dead. Uh, it's laundry. Dad's laundry. Uh, Are you coming to the party? Yeah, why not? Uh, no. Uh, oh, well, there's two of us. That's all right. No, I've got to fly. Uh, no, ferry, actually. OK. See you. Come on, Jimmy. That girl, she was nice. Yeah, all right, all right. Well, you keep your mind on your driving. Uh, straight down to the end, uh, then you go left. We stay on the left here. All right, we take the first uh, on the left here, just down the bottom there. Uh, the next one. Here we go, around here. The right, the right, Jimmy. Will you take the right for God's sake? J Jimmy, you take the right hand. The right hand. J Bloody hell. Yeah. Down there. The first exit this way is Patoni. Where's Patoni? I don't know. Didn't Ken Gray used to play footy for them? Will you turn around? There's a bit in the middle. The drive oh, over. We can't. You want to be a share milker, a, a farm labourer, a noxious weed inspector, end up in an office job? You just keep the motor and your mouth running. Hey, keep talking. Arthur! Frackin' eh? We're from out of town, aren't we? Name? What? What's your name? Jimmy. Uh, what's yours? Jimmy what? Uh, oh, Jimmy, sir. James Smith, that's my full name. I see your license, sir. No, uh, don't believe in them where we come from. Boot it, Jimmy. <laughs> see you, officer. <laughs> What do you want? Couldn't go home without saying hello, Auntie Bird. I thought you were on the ferry. Going home to your inheritance. Broke down. Strike. Uh, strike talks broke down. Yeah, and the breakdown crew went on strike. Ah, so you thought you'd just pop in and say hello, eh? Bed for the night. Flesh and blood, Auntie Bird. I'll take a check. Thanks. You yeah, could count on you. I think she's got somebody with her down there. Yeah. Probably her boyfriend. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that girl. She was nice.
would she have done with the two of us? We're going to have to give it away, Jimmy. Go to the cops. Tell them everything. Well, I mean, it's not as though we... Well, we haven't done it. You go to the cops. I'll wait here. Like hell. Come on. Excuse me. Good day. Yeah. Uh, my brother and me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> What's your problem? Uh, how are you going without a scape joker? <laughs> What they say? Down there. Oh, no, no, don't look now. Still pay some of your debts, even now. Crystal Fires, that owing to an industrial dispute, the 10.40 p.m. sailing has now been cancelled. Passengers may remain on board the vessel and will be advised of the next sailing at the earliest possible opportunity. The cafeteria will remain closed. Keep an eye on the old man. I've got an idea. What? 
Hey, give us the car keys. What car keys? For the Rovia tit parked at Picton. The old man took them. Always does. Did. Well, they'll be in his pocket. Get them. Hey? I'll be right back. Arthur. I'll be as fast as I can. Arthur! Remember me? You were this high last time, eh? <laughs> now, where's these uh, <laughs> family jewels? <laughs> Get it down there. Look, I tell you what you do. You take it down to the floating dock. I'll meet you there. Hurry, hurry. Butler, what? Suzo? All right, Jimmy. Stay with the truck. Yeah, get it off at the other end, and I'll see you there. Okay? some other time. And now the forecast for uh, coastal waters we find shelter now. First time I saw your old man, he drank us out of that scene. You heard that story, Arthur? Oh, the war, eh? Aye. He wants my uncle's boat. And me, what can I do? No maps, no compass. But we go, anyway. Your father. Old Mac and me. Old Mac? Yeah, old Mac. 
steal on the run, they reckon. George. George! George! The wardrobe's gone! Anyway. <laughs> hey. Dad, what do you reckon? Hey? <laughs> you sure there's no chance of getting it across? Oh, sorry, mate. Can't do a thing for you before the weekend. You're quite sure? Sorry. Not possible. Well, uh, maybe there's an unscheduled flight. Uh, come over to the loading bay in about uh, 20 minutes and uh, don't make it too obvious. You beaut. <laughs> Thanks, George. I'll fix you up as soon as I can. Oh, no worries. I hope it works. <laughs> oh, one last favour. Could you nip back to the ferry and tell Jimmy what's happening? <laughs> Okay. Passengers with vehicles are requested to proceed to the vehicle deck prior 
Hey, Jimmy Bloody Donovan, what happened to you? G'day, Jeff. A couple of days later enough, eh? Didn't see you in the bar. Uh, look, I've got to get back down the vehicle deck before my aunt buggers off for the help. Yeah. Oh, you didn't bring a car over, did you? Nah, but my aunt wanted a truck over here. A truck? Oh, shit, I didn't give us a lift. We're not fussy. Sit on anything. Hey, you jokers. Look who I found. Yeah, oh. hey, Ben. Getting a few extras, eh? <laughs> Hello. And I'd never seen the South Island before, so I thought, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Still, I won't bore you. Hey, which one is it? Oh, oh blue one. Blue one. Blue one. <laughs> <laughs> The truck's been reported stalled. It was. But if you care to check with your bloody computer, you'll find it's mine. We're still going to have to search it. Now, look here, sonny. I know my right. Ah, let him look away. G'day, Jimmy. G'day, Craig. You uh, took your time getting back. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's all right, you fellas. I'll deal with this. Anything in the back that you shouldn't have? Take a look. Oh, yeah, I might have known. 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 I might have Bird. It'll all come out in the wash, Jimmy. You'll be able to catch the next ferry back. Oh, no hurry, Jimmy. Oh, thanks. Jimmy. Yeah, wait we'll you a minute, mate. Jimmy, you brainless bugger. Oh. Will you get a grip on yourself? Eh? Hey? Don't look for me, but just listen. Now, can you get rid of Jeff and the other hopheads? Take the truck and meet me at the airport. Can you manage that? Yeah. What about Annie Bird? Lose her. Make it as quick as you can. 
Sweet as a nut, eh? <laughs> and subtlety is the name of the game, right? Tell you, mate, if this gets out, I'm right in it. No, no, no. no. Here comes the truck now. <laughs> See? Military operation. <laughs> Military operation. Custer's last stand. Right, Jimmy, we've got it. Ah, oh, well, at least you got rid of Auntie Bird. What is it you're after? Wardrobe. Yeah, that's what I thought you said. Well, look, you find it and we'll shift it. Go on, you juggers are wasting drinking time. We're looking for a wardrobe. Over there, the big brown one. Are you sure it's here, Arthur? Yeah, it was here earlier. See, some buggers shifted a whole lot of extra stuff. Dry right over the back. Here it is. This is the one. You sure? Yeah. Better jack up something to shift all this then. Good. Somebody farted. Hmm? Yes. Sorry. Ah. Right. Soon sort this out, Jimmy. Hey. Yeah. Honey bird. She's not going to be too happy. Oh, tough. Once we got the old bugger in the ground, she can't prove a thing. Great! Fine! A good one, Jeff! You mad, who? Oh, you <laughs> great! What? Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Hey, boy! What are you doing? Hold on! Oh, Arthur, a bit buggered, eh? They're worth a bit. You ever saw it? A bit of Fourier stopping glass might do. No, no, no. Plastic wood. Yeah, if you keep the knife wet, you can get a good finish. Now, the story is those press-on sheets. No, no, no. Look, just, just please, please, don't worry about it. I mean, it's just an old piece of junk anyway. It must be a real antique. Stinks like one anyway. No, look, thanks very much, fellas, for everything. Uh, uh, why don't you go on over to the mess uh, for a drink? <laughs> My shout. Can't say fairer than that. No. Later. Jimmy, not you. Come on. Yeah, all right. Bloody wardrobe. Got it, Andy. Mahogany, is it? Heavy, Mother. Mother, eh? Hey? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doing, starting up a junk shovel. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> All right, I'll see you down the mess then. Yeah, I Yeah, do. right, uh, believe me, right there. Yeah. Come on, Jimmy. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey? I thought you said you were going to shout them. Yeah, some other time. Jesus, Arthur, a shout's a shout. You can't. Can't I? Where the hell did that come from? What? This other wardrobe. I don't know. Honey Bird? Bloody old bag. Now, what's she up to? As soon as we get out of here, it gets chucked off. 
Arthur Donovan. I trust to you know you're driving a stolen vehicle. Forget that. What the hell do you want? Try explaining everything to the security guard, eh? Uh, uh, Auntie Bird, uh, look at it this way. Uh, family is family. Where the hell did you get that? Seems you left it behind in my shop in your hurry to leave. Well, you coming? I'll follow you. See you at the farm, Arthur. <laughs> Now, Jimmy, and we'd all be home and hosed. to a party, are we, sir? Pretty fancy driving you were doing back there. Yeah. Down there? Yeah. Brakes. Oh, Christ. Oh, no. The old bagger. Come on, it's me. Hey, you. Hold it. Hold it. 
Don't worry. I've had enough. Get me back inside. It's safe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Running a passenger service, are we? I didn't know he was there, now did I? Oh, yeah. No! It's not my fault. You could never prove it. I tell you. You could never prove it. Jesus, where's the old man? What have you lost? The old man. The wardrobe. You've got to find the other wardrobe. Now look here, mate. Just get it through your thick knob. He's a complete stranger to me. And you're going to have to prove otherwise, aren't you? Lady's right. Never seen her in my life before. Well, they bloody stink about this. Ah, we've lost him. Least of your worries. Well, it's not the wardrobe. It's him. Eh? Me old man. The old man was in the wardrobe. Yeah, sure. I know, you're smuggling something. Yeah. Family jewels. Oh, you found it! Where was it? He wouldn't believe me. G'day. Going somewhere? Yeah, near the Donovan place. Sure do. Lived next door all my life. Oh, you must be Kelly McAllister's boy. Jimmy. G'day, Brian. Ah, I see you've met me, Arnie Bird. Arnie Bird? Ah, oh, stories old Tom used to tell about you. <laughs> hey, where's the old fella, anyway? Ah, uh, oh, he got home on Sunday. It's all right, they're the teen colours, you old bastard. You'd like to flash them, wouldn't you? After Mum went, bloody rugby club's all you ever cared about. Yeah. Well, 
They're not getting you home, are they? You stink. You always did. That time you found me out in the gully, your jacket stunk so much at dags I nearly choked. But I had to keep my head tucked in there, because you'd made me howl, huh? <laughs> yeah. Shit, Dad. I was only nine. Bloody useless, that's what you said. I'm lost in the deep part of the gully. It's dark. I hear you coming to find me, and all you can say is bloody useless. When Jimmy got into the first 15, that's all I got. Bloody useless. Yeah, well. Who's carrying you now? Who's carrying you back now, eh? You old bastard. Eh? Who? Antique, eh? What do you got in this thing? Family jewels, he reckons. Hey. Gonna need a bit more than varnish. Uh, uh. Right. Yeah. Jimmy, uh, there's, uh, there's something you should know. Saddened at TK's sudden departure. We all knew Tom was a friend. We all knew what sort of a person Tom was. He was as, as straight as they come. Most blokes like old TK here who made this country what it was. A bloke who always spoke his mind. You always knew where you stood with, with TK. Now he's passed the ball on to his sons. Arthur, Jimmy, and a good pass it was too. He set his boys a fine example. He brought them up like himself. Honest to God, country folk. There are more of his sort around today. This country would be full of law-abiding citizens instead of the bludgers and no-hopers we got now. Although we're in the water. by TK's sudden departure, we can take comfort in the fact You didn't believe me. Buried here in this spot. It's all right, I'm not going to say anything. He loved so well. So you reckon you're going to stay? Jimmy. With faith in Jesus Christ, we reverently bring the body of our brother to be buried in its human imperfection.
Well, he finally made it. Old Mac didn't. No. You didn't know they were mates, did you? <laughs> I, uh, I found this back at your shop. Yeah. TK turned his back on him after the war. That was wrong. You settled that score, Auntie Bird. Someone had to. The family owed him. Hey. Welcome back. <sighs> yeah. This'll do me. <laughs> <laughs> 